Hi, MK Saints. It's Mel and Keisha once again back for another e chat. I'm Mel. And I'm Keisha. And I guess together we're walking the fat woman's shoes. Yes. Um tonight we're in the fifth day of the Saturday challenge. And tonight we have a chicken Caesar salad. Um romaine lettuce. Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, croutons, chicken, and you know we had to get a little different. We put a little bacon bits in there. Yeah. All right. And I also have a side cucumber and tomato salad with onions. And I didn't really feel up to making no uh, shrimp. No peeling any shrimp tonight. So. Here we have the cuss jaw. And tonight we're drinking um a drink. <laughs> Italian style. Which means I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> Italian style, aka sparkling. I'm not a sparkling drink person. And I let's, also have some water on deck if I don't like it. Less is a coke. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we about to get into this. We about to eat this Caesar salad. We're going to make it short and sweet because Keisha has been sleeping. And you tired too, so why you going to hold me like that? Yeah, but I ain't been asleep. There's a difference. Okay, you going to say it, I'm going to say it. God is good, God is great. Thank you for the meal we're about to receive. Bless your holy name, bless your prayers of the meal. Amen. Amen. Also, I had me some uh, crispy onions, y'all. See? Yeah. So how y'all been? We was on here earlier in the live. Who all was there? You had fun? I hope y'all did. We did. Miss Barbara Walker, you wrong. <laughs> I mean this damn salad when you talking about pig feet. Mm -hmm. Hey. Give me uh what some of this? No, I need I need to, let me borrow some change from you. Okay. I ain't asking for no dollars. I'm not trying to put dollars in there. I don't have any. Uh, stuff. Oh, I ain't cursing that much. You just never know. I'm not. Because the story that I was supposed to tell on the live, I'm going to tell it on the live. Because I know once I tell it, y'all want answers. Y'all got questions y'all want answers to. Like, uh, who was that? Tasha... Tasha, what was her last name? Pratt. Was it Pratt? I'm not sure. With that question, she was like, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. But I think that's more appropriate to be in the uh in the live with the coming out all together. Um we have a shout out to um Chicago. What's their first name? I'm getting to it. Lisa Australia one. Um. Oh God. I was supposed to write this down, but I did write just it down. Just Christy. But what I did was I used the paper for my shopping list. Pinky Major thirty four. Jazar, Breezy 63, Delandrio Wilburn, Janine, Janina's Eating Show, um, Rosalind Turner, Margaret Evans, mm -mm. uh, I saw her name. It was here. Give me one second, guys. I'm coming. Thick Chick Vlogs. Oh, and and Nisi Chicago. Yeah. Or Chicago. Could you please tell me 
if I got that right, Chicago. Yeah, and, and that question was from Tasha Pratt. Mm -hmm. So, how are you guys today? Tonight, I'm sorry. Oh, Friday the 13th, I'll tell you. What a day. I'll tell you. Did we say grace? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we did. Girl, I wouldn't even touch this chicken, this food, if we wouldn't say grace. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I wasn't sure. Quick step one to the point. We um yeah, I think we did say grace. Mm-hmm. I think we playing with ourselves with this little salad. <laughs> I guess. We're supposed to... Hold up. Let me get this chicken out of my mouth. It's going to be a second. Man. We're supposed to go live... A second time today, but time got away from us. So I guess we're going to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like I said, tomorrow, the weekend um, is like really my free days. And since me and Dwayne don't have nothing planned for tomorrow, I guess we could do it tomorrow. Should we tell them what's on the menu for tomorrow? You could. Well, as I said, we were in the live today, and somebody dropped chili cheese hot dogs. And I was like, oh, you wrong for that. Because we haven't had hot dogs in a while. Like, I know when it was. The last time we had hot dogs was for Keisha's birthday little get-together um, on July the 3rd. We ain't even have no chili on there. Mm -hmm. We ain't had no cheese on them. <laughs> we ain't have no onions on them. We ain't have no mustard. There was just hot dogs. You know, the bun in the, the hot dog. Well, you know, as soon as it came off the grill. Yeah, also that was the Everybody reason. Was pulling. That was also the reason because when we do hot dogs on the grill, ain't no time for all that. The most they might get is a little mustard. Mm-hmm. Mm. God bless you. Thank you. Anybody out there like Sonic hot dogs? Boy, that foot long cone ain't no joke. It's really good. I haven't had one of those in oh, really, really some months. Oh, three? It's longer than that. Probably about six months. Curbs I think it was just, longer than that. You think? Yeah, because I think Curbs was, was over here when, the last time we had hot dogs in time. Oh, my goodness. So that means we haven't had a Sonic hot dog in over a year. Ten months, maybe. Something like that, yeah. Then oh. you get them tacks with some cheese on them. Oh, Lord. One thing I don't like is their onion rings. I don't too much get that burgers, but look, but the onion rings they can keep that. I don't like sweet onion rings. All I know about Sonic is the corn dogs, the hot dogs, um, a couple of shakes, and the slush. I like onion rings. That's and you know I, I call myself trying. They they sweet. I'm like what the sweet onion rings, man. Mm -mm. If it ain't sweet from the onions, don't make it from the mm -hmm. bag. And um, we haven't had a slush in over a year.
because out here in Texas, they discontinued our flavor. Mm -hmm. Our favorite flavor of slush used to be mint. Can't get it no more oh, out here. Talk about good. Put you in the mind of a pyramid snowball. Man, I miss the snowball. Yeah, it kind of make you think you was back home eating a snowball. And you want to know something? Excuse me. My ear itching. And you want to know something? Out here, they don't sell spearmint snowballs. I haven't found one. And there's this place in DeSoto off of 35. They do all right snowballs really good. The mm -hmm. ice not chunky or nothing. And they don't do spearmint. Because that's the problem we find with the snowballs out here. Because in New Orleans, the ice for a snowball is like shaved ice. It like melts in your mouth. Oh, yeah. And they have all that syrup in the cup. Oh, man. <laughs> but they don't do spearmint um, snow cones out here. Fuck snow cones. <laughs> they don't do spearmint snowballs out here. That's another thing I like to go home for. I like to go home in snowball season in the summer when it's hot. And go to the snowball stand on magazine. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, guys. I just want to let you know they monetize us. For the ones that didn't uh, get to see the live, um, you know, in person uh, earlier, we were telling uh, you guys that we got monetized. So... I mean, we're still going to keep the curse guard, you know, because, you know, because, I mean, I want to see where it goes, you know, how far it gets. Oh. And at the end, at the end of the month, we said at the end of the month, we, maybe we should go to the get filled. How many, how long is it going to take to fill it? Okay. Well, how long you take to fill it when it gets full? Because let's be real, by the end of the month, and I have been paying attention and watching my mouth, how much is really going to be in there? Mm -hmm. Once it gets full, then we're going to do a giveaway. We'll give it away. I told you this wasn't enough. It is for me. Well, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I tip your plate over here. Dude. Not yet. Why was you in the chicken? Yeah, I got chicken. I'm running out of lettuce. Look like all year. I No, go ahead. I have more letters than that. <laughs> we sat down. Man. Y'all really like food. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was asking about a Caesar salad muck, man. I don't think I can go that far with it. I could. You got me addicted to them. Salad jelly. I think I probably could do a Caesar salad muck, man. I put them to the side because I know they don't go on a Caesar salad. But I, my tomatoes, like a long as I say, I got to have it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, tomato taste the whole taste of the salad. Man. Mm. 
That's not bad. I like that. You like that? Mm-hmm. Would I buy it again? Yes. Am I going to get it again? Yes. <laughs> no, she not. She don't drink. I drank that. Have you tasted it? I told you already, I don't like fizzy. I'm not. This is not fizzy, guys. This is like drinking a spritzer. Man. Too sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm a strawberry kind of girl. I love strawberry. You a strawberry? No. <laughs> You play too much. It's kind of along the lines of um, what is it? Com compri, compri, compri. You know the Italian bitters. Mhm. Mm With the, you know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? It comes in a, uh the label is white and navy and gold with it look like the Roman You know what I'm talking about? It looked like the Colosseum on the bottle and it's a bitters. It it goes in the drink. That's what that reminds me of. That's what we stole off the table at the uh at the party my mom and them was giving. <laughs> Worst mistake of our lives. It was like man. Italian bitch. Yeah, the Italian <laughs> bitch. It was like won't y'all just go ahead on and go get a bill. I think that that started me learning to stick with what I like. Because when I legally started drinking, all I drank was hard liquor. Sorry. We were in a live talking about... um liquor and um I think I stopped drinking brown because it makes me sleepy but at least brandy because I still drink a good gym bean Clem made me want to fight Put a little shot of coke in that damn beer. Mm. When I say little, I mean little. I'm talking about 75% gym beer, 25% coke. <laughs> How do you get paid it all day? 75% gym beer? Oh, yeah. Okay. I love to tell my son if I can cook. I could probably get a little lit on it. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying I'm at, I'm at the top, but it'll do a little something. Maybe just enough to make our eyes get little like that, but then come back. <laughs> and then they still don't look like they open fully.
I'm gonna try to do it. I drug that rain. You know, we were just having a few drinks. We had some friends over. And, um, yo, like, damn, man, we ain't seen you like that in a long time. I don't know. I'm going to mess with that ring. I put respect on his name. Mm mm. That man had me thinking I had hell on my fist. I'm good. It's harder than taco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like 19. And I was barely mobile because I uh, fractured both of my ankles. And I put that cast on one leg and uh, get the crush for the other arm. And I'd be drinking uh, strawberry Kool-Aid and gin. <laughs> be lit. Yes, I do. But I've been a vodka drinker a long time. <laughs> you know, in New Orleans, growing up, or even being grown, you know, we would go to the club, you could order your drink, and you get a drink in your hand. Like, if you wanted um, a screwdriver, vodka and orange juice, orange juice and, and gin, you know, you go to the bar, you order that, and you get that. Uh -huh. Well, I stayed in Tampa for a little while, and when we went out, I was like, I want to earn juice and gin. Man, they brought me two bottles and a, uh, a bucket of ice and some cups. I was <laughs> like, what this for? Oh, this is how we serve it. That was just something different to me. <laughs> was it too much? Well, it was too, too much for you. When they broke through that like that. No, it just surprised me because I was already walking around talking about how they get them buckets of ice and what that's for. <laughs> and um, like that was I knew it was for your drink, but I thought that was some yeah. I thought that was some special shit. Oh, I owe fifty more cent. I mean, no girl went to that bar. And she came back with that bucket and them two bottles and some cups. I was like, what's going on here? And she explained to me, everybody sells drinks in Tampa. Well, anyway, the club we went to. I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't know nothing about that. And the thing that was funny is we was in the city limits. We wasn't like in the country or nothing. So that was just weird to me. Hmm. You remember your first time you ever went brought liquor on liquor? Mm hmm For yourself. Oh, for myself. Yeah. You wanna know something? Where? We was out here. Huh? Mm-hmm. When we went to the store, 
on the mall. That was the first time you ever brought liquor for yourself? Yep. Because like when, I, when I would drink certain liquors in New Orleans, and I didn't drink like that, people bought it for me. So, you know. And I wasn't young to where I couldn't buy my own. Because I could, but. But our first Valentine's Day, you brought me a pint of gin. You heard that, right? I bought you a pint of gin. I didn't buy myself anything. Wait, what that was about? Mm. You brought me a pint of gin, but you stayed sober? Yep. Was that the setup? Oh. I think it was. No. Did I go home after I got my bottle? <laughs> no. No, so it was the setup. It was not. Yes, it, it is, because like my friend Mr. Ray said, didn't make you sick. <laughs> and um I remember the first time I brought liquor for myself. My friend gonna get mad because she a school teacher now. And she won't act like she ain't have no days like that. But I'm not gonna drop her name. <laughs> but we was in high school. And um, was we in high school? Yeah, because we were like 16, almost seven. We were 16 because it was our junior year. And around that time, they had just passed the you have to be 21 to buy alcohol law. But the people at the store knew me. So they would just sell it to me anyway. Man, we had, we said that we counted our change. Yeah, I got a little. You got a little? Yeah, we got a little. She was like, come on, we could go get some MD. I went, I ain't never had none of that. She said, come on, we're going to get some. And um, we went to the corner store. We got about four, half a pint of MD. Half a pint is the little one, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got like four half a pint of MD. Um... Kiwi lime, key lime, I guess it's called key lime or lemon lime, uh, the Hawaiian, the blue Hawaiian, we got the grape, and I think we got the banana red. Man, we got them bottles, we went back up to my room, we had us some, we, I don't even think we had cups, I think we was just passing the bottle, mm -mm -mm. and we killed all four of them bottles, we was towed up. And um, it went kind of early. The sun was just starting to go down. So it was about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And um, she was staying at my house till her mama got off from work. So when her mama got home and she called my mama, she was like, all right, I'm home, Ree. You could bring um." Oh, girl, all right, then, all right, I'm going to bring them in a minute. Man, we was towed up. We could barely walk. How old were you? 16. Okay. And um, I don't know what that is, but it's to it. We was, like, supporting each other down the steps because our house was a two-story and my room was upstairs. Was I 16? I was 16 or 17 because by then I had my own room because my brother had moved out. I had to be 17. So it had to be my senior year. Man, we was lit. My mama was like, y'all all right? <laughs> yeah, we all right. Ain't nothing wrong with us. But I know if she got close enough, she could smell a liquor because like I said, we we drunk. It wasn't them little bottles. It was like them bottles right there. Maybe four pints. But we drunk them all. Man. But that was not our first time getting drunk together.
That might be why I like vodka. You know, your mama always had a few select bottles. Oh, for company and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, I started fly. We used to always hit our taco. And when we realized we was hitting it that much, we put water in it. I remember one part where we put gin in it. And come on now, gin and vodka, you, you gon' oh, know. Come on, yeah, I don't even remember. We didn't care, you had to prove it was us. Damn, is that what Catholic school told us? Because mm -hmm. that time, I know for sure we was in the seventh grade, 12 years old. Catholic school. Well, her mom must have busted her. Because we stopped making drinks. But we'll, we'll drink bright and early with vodka. <laughs> Oh, man. You remember from bright and early? Yeah. The fake orange juice? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Sad thing about it, though. We was old enough to go buy our own liquor. Because, you know, they ain't passed them liquor laws. I didn't grow up in the age of the liquor laws. Mm-hmm. You know, you could send your child to go get you a bottle. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to look for a message that was sent to us, and I wanted to answer, but I can't find it. So, so sorry about that. I'm not trying to be rude. Just trying to answer a question. My salad tastes different, and I know what the difference is. What? I ain't put no salt and pepper on it. It's like a la carte, and how it is. Mm. Well, you should have knew that was going to happen. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't either. I'm good with that salad. I'm good. I might go put a couple more pieces of chicken in the pot. You're not full? Not really, no. I am. I don't even feel okay. And I don't even know why, but I'm full. Oh, well, then again, it could be because I drunk, like, what, two and a half waters before uh, I, we got on here. So maybe that could be it. So. I drink out of wine glasses and whatnot, but I can't stand them. See all this in the room for error and it knocking over and all that. Man, forget that. Dang. I'm just hate not being able to find. She killed the it. Message. So I guess she really do like it. Yeah, I told you that. I wouldn't drink drunk it if I didn't. Well, you know what? All the rest of that bottle for you. Okay, well. Finish this off, give me a good snow on. <laughs> How you gonna get you a good snow? Not snow, snore. Yeah. My baby speak? No, indeed. Now, that's... What which message you looking for? Uh, you halfway know the gist of the question. No. <coughs> Make sure she look at some pies over there. She she have an problem. idea of the question. Uh, yeah. I wasn't telling you come get them, but since you want to, yeah, you can take that one. 
Excuse me. Well, I'm, I'm going to look at it now. Uh, I'll answer it online tomorrow. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know what time we're going to do. We're going to just jump in and yeah. hope you're available. But, um, yeah, because we can't really just, we ain't really going to be able to just give no no set time because I saw my little cousin, our little cousin in uh, the store and his dad, you know, whenever, you know, if he knows that we saw him, his dad going to be in. Then I'm, we're going to have a house full and then be like, oh, y'all, we have to go live. We have to take, we have to do this. Oh, y'all go ahead. Don't worry about us. And then they'll be making all kind of noise and, you know, being ignorant. And we ain't trying to go for all that. We ain't trying to have all that. Yeah. So, we saw yeah. a little ball mouth. <laughs> yeah, you see me just snaggy. Yeah. I said, oh, look at you. You looking like your cousin. <laughs> he was like, he said, no. I said, yes, yeah, sure is. He was mm -hmm. happy to see he us. He sure was. When was the last time we saw him? Uh, <coughs> couple months. Oh, Alonzo's Alonzo birthday, birthday party. party. Yeah. And uh, we haven't yep. seen him since then. But he used to come to our house every weekend. Yeah. But um, it's like once he started coming in, he got he immediately got comfortable to the point to where he's not crying behind his dad when his dad leaves. He like okay, go ahead, Dad. See you, dude. Deuces. You know. Then he just stopped bringing him. And I told him, I said, the next time I see my chunk, he gonna be fifteen years old. And God made it so that I saw him, you know, in the store. And like I said, I know my cousin coming once. You know, his son telling, him, oh, Dad, I see Keisha Mel. You know, Boy. he be telling his parents that he's gonna get his dog. From over here by our house and sick him on him because they whipped him. I'm like, okay. Okay. He um <laughs> he's old enough now mm -hmm. <coughs> to really, really know and understand. But we've been buying him a lot of his first. Yeah. Like um we brought him his first bike, which was a tricycle. And yeah, um, so cute. we bought him uniforms for his first year of school. Um, we brought him a bike, a two wheel bike with training wheels, just recently for Christmas. Yeah. And um, what is that, a leap pad thing? I think so. Leap frog, something like that. He uh, saw me in the store. It's like if them people would have gotten his way, he had to knock them over because he so was running did you over see? there. Yeah, did you yeah say he I saw him. Get you like, hmm. he, was, he was gone. He really he was missed really us. Gone. But like I said, he used to come over here every weekend. Mm -hmm. He and asked me, he said, you got cake? I knew he <laughs> no, was going to ask you that. I was about but to say that. he first saw me, he said, hey, you should give me some love. Because well, I used to tell him as a little when he was little, before I, he could even talk, I used to say, Oh, give cuz it's a lot. Yes, a lot. You know, it's give me some love. Oh, she got guess a lot. You know, and nanny, he liked that too. You know, I said, give me a lot. You know, but when he got his attitude, no, nanny. <laughs> no, no. Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm like, Let me tell you what this little sucker did me earlier. When we came back, uh, he was woke. He was mad. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, Mel, don't come in. No, no. When I got to the door, he slammed the door in my face. <laughs> I said, this little twerp. <laughs> but that's because when we left earlier today, I took him with me. Yeah. He feels like anytime Mel get in that truck, he needs to be in the truck. If Mel get in the van, he needs to be in the van. Anything Mel get in, he needs to be there. That's the way he feels. Yeah, like means. my uncle was here um, almost a month ago, and uh, he likes to be drove around. So I drove his truck, and he was like, I'm coming. <laughs> we put him in the car, in the truck. Um, My uncle told him something. Come on, let's get out or something. 
I could not believe he cussed them. Yeah, he did. But it, it is what it is. And he keeps saying, oh, don't worry about it. I be messing with him. I be teasing him. Yeah, but when he's when that mouth get in the in the way, you don't wanna hear that. Mm -mm. And um, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow on a live. Tomorrow is day six of the salad challenge. I'm not complaining, and I'm not saying, "Who thank God because we eat salads anyway." Yeah, but. Ooh. <laughs> He's glad to be over there, huh? Fine. Like, you only got two more days left. Like, what kind of salad do you eat with hot dogs? Some coleslaw? Is, would you consider that a salad? I don't know. Y'all tell us if y'all think coleslaw is a salad. If you would consider coleslaw well, a salad. Well, it has the components. No, no. In the comments. It got below. the cabbage, which is a, a vegetable. It got the carrots. And they have the uh little the little salts, the little dressing. I call it the sauce. I just don't think that you that's you don't think you know, that's don't, a, a salad? No. I mean if you want to we could do a little side salad. You know you know what those side salads we can just start, right? Just just it's similar to the uh uh to the to the corner store salad. The only difference is they give you the uh they give you the cherry tomatoes. They put the cherry tomatoes on that hole. And instead of slicing the uh, red onion, they give you the little hole. To give you the rings. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. That's the side salad. Now, we need a salad that go with a hot dog. I don't know what salad is going to go with a hot dog. But I know one thing. This girl will be eating one. I don't care if I have to redo you another eat, salad. Trust me. You ever eat coleslaw on a hot dog? No. I've never had it like that. What about sauerkraut? I've had sauerkraut. I knew you was going to say that. I've had sauerkraut. And I actually like What about y'all? You like sauerkraut? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. But my only thing is I don't want it heavy on that. Just give me a little bit, like a little, you know, that I can like string across or whatever. Keisha, that not wine done woke your ass up. You real talkative. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it did not wake me up. Yeah, it, it done woke no, up. No, it didn't, because I'm going to tell you like this. When we get off here, I'm going to clean myself up some more. Get my hands together, clean my face. And guess what? That's all you cleaning your hands and your face? Well, I, I'm gonna say TMI, but it is TMI. I didn't already clean wash my hands. You know, I didn't already clean myself. So, you know, all I have to do now is clean my face, you know, clean my hands, and I'm good. So I don't think we need to know that, that. that. That you asked the question. We family. We should be able to talk to each other. You know, we family. That that's how it is. You know, that that's that's just how it is. Cause we we family. We cool guys. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I, I do know that was TMI. Do you like? How she drink and get talkative? <laughs> I don't see it. You knew that when uh we when we first had uh had a drink sing? together. Who? Can you still sing? While I'm like this? Yes. Yeah. I think, yeah, I believe so. Can you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, no. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can she really drink and sing? Oh, she won't play that role. What you gonna sing then? I don't know. I ain't trying to get a... Uh, Michael Jackson. I, ain't trying to go, what? I don't know Michael Jackson. You don't know Michael Jackson. Yeah, I, I know some Michael Jackson, but dang, I don't know. I don't know. What about Patty LaBelle? Girl, no, no. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could do Patty Patty. What about Darlene McCoy then? I don't really know a song like that. I love the song, but I don't really know it like that. Sing it for me. Ha ha ha! You laughing? 
Come on, give me something That's else. That's not even right. Give me something else. You know, that got a little kick to it, though. I ain't gonna lie. It really does. It got a little kick to it. But come on, now that was one drink. Come on, I'm not tipsy. I'm not, I don't think I'm tipsy. I don't, be, I'm not, I'm full from food, but I don't think I'm full from no drink. That was one drink. I mean, I can sing, you know. You know. Man, read this crap. I need my glasses. And I don't want to get no copyright infringement on me and stuff because I didn't mess with the copyright. Well, I didn't sing because uh, you love me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thought you were slick. Lately, I'm so confused. Telling myself I won't be used by nobody else but you because you love me. You are the one who chose me. You are the one who set my soul free. You are wonderful to me. Yes, you are. All right. You are my everything. You keep brightening up my day. That's why I'll never be the same because of what happened to my glasses. You are. You never let me fall and keep it they right the when I call you. That's why I'll always praise you. Glorify in your name. There you go. <coughs> and don't never make me do that again when I'm drinking, cause uh, that kind of strains my voice. I, uh, you about to make me start crying on on, on camera. Mm -mm. Let me tell y'all something. When I start cracking, when I start messing up, I will start crying. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. I think that says six or eight percent. Can you see? You know where? It's right there. Look, right there. Girl, I can't see that shit. Let me see. Bring it up close. Oh. Okay, six percent. Told you. But I need fifty cents. Oh yeah. Y'all have 50 cents in that container right now? Nope. Girl, I'm next there. Next time we're going to be putting this tin in there. No, because we about to get out of here. It's just coming in under 50 minutes. And, uh... I'm chill. <laughs> I'm chill, too. As long as we can get a line through the ladies' butt down... Yeah, we'd be straight. Be good. But that's not going to work like that because... Um, Where that pet pad? I think... We yeah, had just woke up about 8 something. That's so. it. Uh-uh, the one said he didn't, he didn't go to sleep. Uh-uh, the one told me he had just woke up. Remember, he was sleeping when we left. He didn't get up till 8 something. Yeah, yeah, somebody did ask me about that. I saw that book. The shack. Y'all could have went into detail what that was about. It's probably it probably is a good book. I might have to get that and read that. But um hold on, I got some things on here. Oh yeah, I wanted to say thanks to April Snelling April for uh you know You know what for? For introducing us to her brother. Well, you know, letting us know about her brother. Because as we said, we have some t-shirts in the works that we're trying to get out and everything. And we're trying to get somebody, an uh, artist, to just funk it up just a little bit. We have our design. We just want it judged up a little more. You know, and uh, I really believe her brother can really twerk that. He can really work it. You know, twerk it. You know, I'm talking. About, you know, twerk it, not twerk it, twerk it. I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> did you, know. you just do like an imitation? Well, like that, like that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, y'all. I can dance. You know, I was just doing that. You know. Oh, this, you was a twerk in your funny. day. I will. Yeah, I played the fifth on that. You know. Y'all, y'all laughing at what? However. But we was twerking in New Orleans way before y'all even knew what a twerk mm -hmm. was. P-pop and all that. Yep, swinging your key. 
you know, that, yeah. Way for the, the whole rest of the world knew what twerking was. Yeah. Shoot, I found out about it late. Yeah. Because I, mean. I ain't know nothing about twerking and all that till about 2000. And it had been out way before then. I was in the midst of it. I already know about it, too. So, no. Were you going to the gay club? Yes. Okay, that's how I found out about it. Oh, yeah. did, did I just say something? No, you say you were going to the gay I club. I said I found out about twerking going to the gay club. Uh-huh. That was it. It said whole message. If you if you listen, you caught the message. Mm-hmm. No, I ain't catching. I'm sorry. I ain't about to do that. I ain't catching. I used to go to the club before I went to the gay club and never saw twerking. Really? Really? Yeah, they're not regular clubs too. Wait. Moles. What is it? Oh. Um. I'm sorry, she's a uptown girl. Yeah, I am. I'm a downtown girl, you know, so. Yeah. Well, you know about the drink? Right? That kind of dancing, right? Holding the drink? You know about that one, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I know about a motherfucker turning around and popping in my face. Oh. Hey, who was it that came up with that? We will if we pay for the word once, we shouldn't have to keep paying. I never McKinnis. Okay, I never McKinnis said that. If we pay for the word once, we shouldn't have to keep paying for it. <laughs> she might be right. Yeah, because this girl could drop the F bomb more than a little bit. She she just might and be F and right. F and F and F and F and F and F and F. Paul coming with the F, 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 F. You know. No, I don't F F F like that. I know, but I'm saying the way you, boy, you drop that F by more than a little bit. No, Alonzo drops it more than me. <laughs> no, he drops the B word more than a little bit. He just started doing that game. Yeah, day. come in, little B in. Hey, uh uh. Yo, you're two years old, brother. You don't know. We'll do that. Where you learned that from? <sighs> he just started with I that. I don't know where he learned that now, from. I who That's taught you that? Hey, you coy So, is, is it out of the mouth of babe that he's telling mm. the truth? Or he just saying mm. that because Curtis is go to guy? I think Curtis is go to guy. Yeah, I think so too. Because he was telling me something and he was saying it so I couldn't understand it, but I knew he was getting smart with me. <laughs> and I said, What you say? He said, I ain't saying nothing. I, I was talking to Curtis. So, um, we're going to go ahead on. Um, we're trying to really, if Keisha could get it together, we're trying to keep our videos to 45 minutes. And um, uh, Keisha just won't let that happen, y'all. My click. My click. Y'all know I am not the one that be up me here. So, uh, uh, and uh, when I was younger, I went here and, uh, and so I went there a... and all that. Come on now. I ain't the long windy passer. So, you saying there's a team Mel and a team Keisha? If the MK No, Saints? it's not a team, nothing, but I'm just, well, I'm talking about, about the whole MK Saints click. Say that then. The whole MK Say Saints MK click. Saints then. All right, well, you, if y'all MK Saints real, click, y'all already know. Y'all already know it is not the quiche. It is male that take that drags the stories out. And I know y'all love that, you know, so come on. I already know we're going to get the. But it's okay because Mel tells a good story. <laughs> and and other. Oh. I know she tell a good story. That's why. I love hearing her story, but you sound like you're throwing a little shade, though. Girl, please, do it sound like I'm throwing shade? If it sound like it, then maybe I am. Maybe I am, because you be really throwing little pot shots at me, and then I'll be thinking I don't be catching it. Come mm. on, man, you really do. Oh, you could have cooked the chicken longer. <laughs> oh, you know I don't eat chicken breasts with your picky self. Girl. That is not right. You're wrong for that. 
Whatever. I eat chicken breast. Whatever. But I prefer to be skin and bone. I, I prefer to have his skin in his bone. Don't come at me with no damn skinless, <laughs> boneless chicken breast. You ought to jump 50 cents. Look, I don't have any more dollars. Look, we're going to go ahead then. Oh, I don't have no change there. That's, Girl, that's hey. eight cents. <laughs> Girl, do I have things? Uh-uh, I got this. <laughs> I gotta see if I got something. Oh, my goodness, that's three pennies. Okay, let's see. Look at all them dollars. Okay. Just getting to be expensive. Change. That's gonna be enough too, y'all. That's gonna be enough. Not tonight. Be, ain't, maybe not tonight, but that's gonna be enough. Yeah, My well, son owe you like a dollar or two. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. It won't be enough. Look here, guys. We're gonna have to get out of here. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time we upload. If you're not, y'all had a little change. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so. You won't regret it. Trust and believe you won't. Like Alonzo say about that thumbs up, I got to have it. He got to have it. Y'all give us the thumbs up. Hold up, we we want to decide. What? Did they want to keep the sweat job going? Yeah. Do you want? Cause to it keep don't it matter going? to me now. Yeah. If I was doing it to be monetized, going, and I am, so. Yeah, if you want to keep it going, just let us know in the comments down below. If you want to keep it going, we'll keep it going. If not, we'll just give us in the you want to just do a drawing now and get, get whoever get it? But that's really nothing in there, though. It's more than $10. Yeah, it's more than $10, but, you know, girl, you, to pay for the stamp, to pay for the envelope, to... Get the money order. Come on, man. Really? <laughs> really? Take it out the money. <laughs> oh, I, no, no, no. Money order, 40 cents. Exactly. I don't know how much a stamp is because I keep them. So, how much is a stamp? I don't buy a single know. stamp, so I don't know how much a stamp is. I just money go, order, 68 cents. No, money order, 39 cents. Oh, well, where you go? Because I go to Walmart, they 68 cents. Forget that. Ha uh thirty-nine cents. I already got the stamp. So that's all we will be paying. Thirty-nine cents to making the money out. Share this video with any and everyone you like. Hey, uh I don't know if the bro are watching, but what's up, Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> Not creative crystal, another crystal. Uh -huh. Um I don't know if she got a uh name uh -huh. or however it go. You miss it. That's but, because uh, I know she be trying to hit on me. The some chick. That's not nice. She be trying to hit on me on the slip. Anyway. I still love you, boo. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, boy. <laughs> messy. Just mess it. All right, then, y'all. It's up to an hour now. Yeah, it is. Keisha been taking all She day. talking to me. She Time talking man. to me. See, when I was... Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No shit. No shit, comment, when like, I tried subscribe. to cut this short, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we upload. <laughs> and until, yeah. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful night. Be blessed. Peace. Go ahead, dig them up. You already know, we going to plant y'all down and dig you later. <laughs> I thought we was going to dig them up. It's plant you down and dig you later. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. We're going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to go live. Yeah. So, y'all just know be ready for the notification. Hit the bell so you have the notification. Because some people were saying that they didn't have, they didn't get the notification. So, hit that bell twice. So, you can have the little, the little lines on the bell so you know. 
And we did a two-hour live. Yeah. Boy, it was it something else? All right, then, you all. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the bell. We'll be back tomorrow. Later. All right, later.